Hi students. Good morning. I hope you all are fine. Welcome to grade 11 business mathematics class. We are learning our second chapter algebra. In that mathematical induction you are learning for the last two classes. Yes. Some more problems are left in the exercise. We will continue that. I gave some homework in our last class. I hope you all completed. Okay. So, in exercise 2.5, up to fourth problem we have completed. Then fifth problem I gave homework for you. I hope you all completed and you got the answer. Now, I'll start from problem number six. Two point five exercise. Problem number six. Question is a power n minus b power n is divisible by a minus b for all n belongs to n. Okay, a power n minus b power n is divisible by a minus b for all n belongs to n. What's the first we will do? We will take the given statement as p of n. Okay, same thing. Solution. Let's p of n denote the statement. What's the statement given? A power n minus b power n is divisible by a minus b for all n belongs to n okay this is a given statement let p of n denote the statement a power n minus b power n is divisible by a minus b for all n belongs to n okay so this is a given statement i consider as p of n okay then come to step 1 what's the first step you need to do i say put n equal to 1 okay so put n equal to 1 Okay, substitute in the place of n is one. Now, if we are substituting here, what will happen? A power one minus b power one. What's the value you will get? A minus b. Whether it is divisible by a minus b? Yes. Is it right? So, is divisible by a minus b. So, what will you conclude? P of one is true. Okay. Then, step two. What is step two? What you will assume for p of k is it right? So let p of k. Let us assume. Okay. Let us assume that p of k is true. You need to assume for p of k is true. Okay. So in the place of n, what you need to substitute k. So a power k minus b power k. So e is divisible by a minus b. We are assuming is it right? So e is divisible by a minus b. So already I said if it is divisible, the word k means what will you do? A anything, okay? So m will do something. Yeah. So if it is divisible by seven, means I will write seven into m. Okay, if it is divisible by five minutes, I will write five into m. So same as that, if it is divisible by a minus b minutes, I will write like this: a power k minus b power k. If it is divisible by a minus b minutes, it will be something into a minus b. So let us take that as m. Okay, so m into a minus b. Okay, so this where this m is a constant. Okay, anything. So this m into any variable for one, two, three, or anything means also it will be divisible by a minus b. That's the meaning. Okay. So now take this as equation number one. Now come to step three. What will you prove in step three? We will prove for k plus one. Is it right? So to prove p of k plus one is true. We will prove for for p of k plus one is true. Okay. So how will you take this one in the place of k as k plus one? So a power k plus one minus b power k plus one. Is divisible by a minus b. This we need to prove. Okay, is divisible by a minus b. Now you consider this one. Okay, now you consider this. That is consider 
a power k plus 1 minus b power k plus 1. Now we are going to, we need to uh, say, say it is divisible by uh, a minus b. Is it right? So for that what we will do is we will add and subtract 1 a power k into b. What will you do? We will add and subtract a power k into b. Same time we are going to add and subtract. Okay. So here add and subtract a power k into b. We are going to add and subtract a power k into b. Now do this a power k into b. We are going to add and subtract. Okay. So which implies a power k plus 1 is there additionally we are going to add and subtract. So a minus a power k into b plus a power k into b. So add and subtract a power k into b minus b power k plus 1. Okay. So next step what do we do for this two? What is common? a power k is common. Okay. So if you are taking a power k otherwise you can split it. So how will you split this a power k into a power 1. Okay. So the meaning is here b power k into b power 1. So a power k we can take common outside means the balance is a minus b you will get. So same as that here also if you are taking what you will take as common here. Shall we take b outside? b if you take outside means a power k minus b power k you will get. Okay. So together how will you write is? <coughs> Which implies a power k into a minus b plus uh, any value if we know means we can substitute here. Okay. okay. So plus b into you so using 1. What is equation number 1? A equation number 1 is a power b k minus b power k is equal to m into a minus b. Okay. So this is our equation 1. So you can substitute this value here. Okay. Substitute in the place of a power k minus b power k s. What will you substitute? m into a minus b. So using 1 we will substitute here. Understand? So using 1 we will substitute here. Now what are the two factors? a power k plus b m. 1. Another one is a minus b. Now you got this is a minus b into a power k plus b m. Is it right? So anything if it is a minus b into something means it will be divisible by it will be divisible by a minus b. correct so which is divisible by a minus b. understand students so a minus b into something so anything also so a minus b into something you got the answer so if it is multiple divisible by 7 means 5 into anything okay like that only will prove so here a minus b into something like that we got means we will say it is divisible by a minus b therefore we can conclude the answer therefore p of k plus 1 is true whenever p of k is true. If p of k plus 1 is true, whenever p of k is true, therefore p of n is true for all. Okay, for all n belongs to n. Got it? Understand? Okay, very easy. Uh, you try. Okay, so let's move to next problem. So, seventh problem, uh, I gave homework for you. I hope you all completed. Let's move to problem number eight. Eighth problem is n into n plus 1, n plus 2 is divisible by 6 for all n belongs to n. Okay. So, n into n plus 1 into n plus 2 is divisible by 6 for all n belongs to n. Okay. So, let us denote the statement. Let P of n denote the statement n into n plus 1 into n plus 2 is divisible by 6. Okay. So, that's a given statement. 
Okay, what's the first step? First step, what's the first step? Step 1. Put n equal to 1. Okay. One. Substitute in the place of n as 1. 1 into 1 plus 1 into 1 plus 2 equal to 1 into 2 into 3. What's the answer? 6. Whether 6 is divisible by 6? Yes, is. divisible by 6. Therefore, what we can say P of 1 is true. Okay. So, next what do we do? Let us assume for P of K is true. Okay. Step 2. Let us assume that P of K is true. Okay, let us assume that P of K is true. Put it P of K is true in the place of N is K. So, K into K plus 1 into K plus 2. That is divisible by 6. For that, how will you write this? It's divisible by 6. So, 6 into something you need to write is it right. So, K into k plus 1 into k plus 2 is equal to 6 into m. Okay, this m is a constant. Okay, where m is a constant. If you need, you can write it. This is equation number 1. Understand students? Okay, next what will you do in step 3 to prove that p of k plus 1 is true. Okay. of k plus 1 is true. Okay. So, listen here very carefully. So, in the place of k, what will you substitute? k plus 1. Is it right? So, substitute in the place of k as k plus 1. So, k plus 1 you will get. In the place of k, again k plus 1 means k plus 1 plus 1. Again k plus 1 means k plus 1 plus 2. Okay. So, what's the value you will get here? Is divisible by 6 you need to get. So, what will you get here? K plus 1, K plus 2, K plus 3. It's all divisible by 6. Okay. So, for that, first you will consider. Okay. First, what you are going to do is... Consider... K plus 1, K plus 2, K plus 2. Okay. So, listen here students very carefully for this problem. We need, we know the value for equation 1 as equation 1 is K into K plus 1 into K plus 2. Is it right? So, here you need to make in the form of K into K plus 1 into K plus 2. Then only you can substitute the value for that. What we are going to do is first we will multiply with this k plus 3 with this two terms. Okay. So how will you write in the sense k into k plus 1 into k plus 2 plus next multiply with this 3. So 3 into k plus 1 into k plus 2. Understand ma? What we did? So we need to make it in the form of k into k plus 1 into k plus 2. Okay. Then only you can substitute that equation 1 value. So for that what I did with this k plus 3 you need to multiply with this 2 terms. Okay. So k into k plus 1 into k plus 2 plus 3 into k plus 1 into k plus 2. Now you will use equation number 1. Okay. Using 1. From equation 1 you can substitute the value. What's the value for k into k plus 1 into k plus 2? In the place you can substitute as 6 here. Got it ma? So 6 here. Plus 3 into k plus 1 into k plus 2. Understand? So 6 here plus 3 into k plus 1 into k plus 2. Okay. So um, 
6m plus 3 into k plus 1 into k plus 2. This 3 into it will be even number. Y means if you need you can substitute any value and we will check it. So if I am substituting for k as 1 means what will happen? 1 plus 1 means 2 is it right? Next 2 plus 2 means 4 is it right? So 4 into 2 means 8 is. Yes. So whatever the number if you are substituting will get as an even number is. Yes. So we will write like this. That is 6m plus 3 into even. Even number that's one condition that is if k is odd, if I'm substituting for k as odd or even 6, second term is even always. Understand? So if I'm substituting for k as odd or even 6, then the second term is always even okay so it will be always divisible by 6 understand so which implies which is divisible by 6 therefore we will conclude the answer p of k plus 1 is true Whenever P of K is true. Therefore, we will say P of N is true for all N belongs to N. Understand students? Here only you will get somewhat confusion. So, understand it and learn. Okay. So, 6M plus 3 into even number. Why means if K is odd or even 6. Even 6. Okay. Then only the second term will be always even. Uh, always. Okay. So, the given number. You need to uh, for, um, uh, conclude the answer is divisible by 6. Is it right? So, like that only you will get. Then which is divisible by. If you need you check it. Okay. K for any odd number or even for 6. If we substitute and see the second term always it will be even. So that will be always divisible by 6. Whatever the number if you are getting you check it that will be divisible by 6. Therefore we will conclude the answer P of K plus 1 is true whenever P of K is true. Okay. Therefore P of N is true for all N belongs to E. Got it students. Okay. One more question as balance in this section. Problem number 9. Two power n greater than n for all n belongs to n. Okay, two power n greater than n for all n belongs to n. Okay, solution. First, you denote the statement. Let p of n denote the statement. What's the statement? 2 power n greater than n for all n belongs to n. Okay. Then what is step 1? What you will put first? Put n equal to put n equal to 1. Okay. So substitute in the place of n is 1 2 power 1 greater than 1. Whether 2 is greater than 1? Is there no? 2 is greater or 1 is greater? 2 is greater. This is right. So 2 is greater than 1. Therefore, what do we say? P of 1 is true. Next step, what do we do? Step 2. Let us assume that P of K is true. Let us assume that P of K is true. Okay. Put it P of K. 2 power K greater than K. Take it as equation number 1. Okay. Then step 3. Come to step 3. What you will do in step 3? To do that. P of K plus 1 is true. To prove that P of K plus 2 is true. For that what will you prove? In the place of K you need to substitute this K 
k plus 1 is it right so substitute in the place of k as k plus 1 so 2 power k plus 1 greater than k plus 1 okay so first you consider this side is it right so consider 2 power k plus 1 split it my into two terms how will you split 2 power k into 2 power 1 correct yes this you all these are the things you have studied in the lower classes right so uh, 2 power k plus 1 rn plus n anything is there means when we are writing in multiplication 2 power k into 2 power 1 again when you are changing 2 power k plus 1 we write okay so this term we will write by using using 1 in 1 what is there 2 power k is greater than k okay so in this place you can write it as greater than in the place of 2 power k is greater than k into 2 is it right so which is greater than 2k which is greater than k plus 1 why it's greater than k plus 1 why it is greater than k plus 1 so 2 power 1. Now for k you substitute 1. Okay first. So 2 power 1 into 1 plus 1. Yes greater than 2. The next 2 power 3. Substitute for 3. Okay. So what the value you will get? Uh, greater than 2 power k means. Just 2 into k means. K for 3 you substitute means. 2 into 3. 6 is it right? Then here is greater than k plus 1. So whatever the value when you are substituting for k, it will be greater than k plus 1. Okay. So uh, that is, we will conclude the answer. That is um, 2 p of k plus 1 is true. Then never p of k is true. Therefore, P of N is true for all N belongs to N. Understand? P of N is true for all N belongs to N. Okay, students. These are the things in mathematical induction. We have completed this section. So, uh, today I can't give any homework for you. Uh, the thing is, you need to thorough this mathematical induction. The reason is, in each and every term, uh, time they will ask on 5 mark or any 3 mark from this section. Very very important this mathematical induction. Next year also we will learn this. So it will be very very important. Uh, so please learn this section. Okay. Then our next section is binomial theorem. Uh, I am just giving the uh, formula alone. Okay. So how we will split by using the binomial theorem. How we will expand by using the binomial theorem we will expand by using the binomial theorem that alone i am giving today so problems we will see in the next class okay so all of you take your book binomial theorem section uh, i think in your hand uh, new edition book is there so there will be a change in page number uh, so binomial theorem okay that section all of you take down uh, there uh, put the heading as binomial theorem so what are the things you need to take to your note arms they say First put the heading binomial theorem. Afterwards one theorem without proof is there. That only very very important. That only we are going to use uh, by uh, use here. Okay. So here if x and a are the real numbers then for all n belongs to n. This is a formula. That is this is the expansion we are going to use. That is x plus a the whole power n is equal to n c naught x power n a power 0. Then c1. The c naught will be 0 1. So, uh, when I was seeing this, you will think uh, this much big formula we need to mug up like that. Okay, no, it's never easy. The thing is, n c naught, that is c naught, it will start from 0. Then x, it will be a power, it will start from n. Okay, then a power 0. So, c naught and a power is 0. So, the c naught and this a power 0, it will go on increasing. That is 0 means then 1, then 2, 3 like that a power 0 that will be also increasing a power 1 a power 2 like that it will go x power n alone it will be reduced that is n minus 1 n minus 2 last means n minus r a power r again it will be going means it will be go like this okay so together we will write like this that is summation r is equal to 0 to n n c r x power n minus r a power r this is a simple formula but we need we will expand by using this only understand okay then some uh, this you need to take your note so all of you students please put down the heading binomial theorem and this 
two lines you need to take to your note okay so then this note and all you can try learn from your book all along when n equal to zero means what will happen n equal to one means what will happen n equal to two n equal to three so this and all or maybe somebody will ask for one word so you need to learn from the book if you learn means that's enough no need to take to your notes then this note also you need to learn from your book no need to take to your note but it is very very important number of terms in the expansion of x power x plus a the whole power n is n plus 1 we will ask in one word question that is number of terms in the expansion of x plus a the whole power n is how many terms will be there n plus 1 then sum of the indices of x and a in each term in an expansion is n then next one is uh, are also represented as binomial questions then since ncr is equal to nc n minus r for uh, this value in the expansion x plus a the whole power n the binomial questions of terms equalized from the beginning just you read it it will be sometimes they will ask for one words that's all sum of the questions in the expansion of 1 plus x the whole power n is equal to 2 power n okay 2 power n then in the expansion this one the sum of the questions of odd terms is equal to sum of the questions of the even terms is equal to 2 power n minus 1 then the general term is also very very important so these are the things you can learn from your book then how we will find the middle term okay if n is this also problems are there find the middle term if n is even and then the number of terms of n plus 1 is r then there is only one middle term given by t n by 2 plus 1 then if n is r then the number of terms n plus 1 is even Therefore, there are two middle terms. This this thing is very very important. You can learn from your book. No need to learn. Take your note. So, this, this one very important. We will use for problems. Okay. So, middle term t n by 2 plus 1. Here odd means two middle terms must be there. Okay. Okay students. Um, then next page uh, some other notes are there. Uh, I think there will be a page number difference. So, this are the things. This also you just to read it. Uh, when you are reading, you will get some idea. So, when you are doing the problems, I will explain it again. Okay. Um, so, from examples, I will start in the next class. Uh, today, your work is, I taught you some homework. Uh, sorry, I taught some, uh, how we will find the middle term in any sort and in this even. Then, that one expansion, I taught you. Some notes, I taught you. That all the things, you please learn it. Um, very, very important. If you are learning this, everything only. Uh, next class when I'm starting the problem, you will get some idea. Without learning, you won't get idea. So because of that, I gave this all the things today. So learn it before you are going come uh, going to listen to the next class. Understand? Uh, so learn this before itself. Okay, we will start from the next example tomorrow, uh, 2.39. Okay, students, we'll meet in the next class. Be safe. Thank you, students.